For those of you who like such things, this is an unboxing of the Earthworks SR117. One thing I notice, there's a little um, play in the box, so something's uh, moving. Designed, tuned, and assembled in the USA. <laughs> really? Well, I noticed, um, really up to just over 10, and uh, a lot of the Earthworks mics made a point of that they went up to uh, 30, I think, even one got up to 40. I'm not sure. Very tight. Yeah. So I got this for, um, from Studio Care, I believe it is, in the UK, £240. Similar bag to the bag that came with the SR314, seems to me. But I did have a comment about the stitching on the <laughs> on that bag, and it was just sort of um, whatever they did, it kind of bunched up the material a bit, but not so here. All right, so what was uh, moving around? I'm sure would have been that, not the mic, because by the time the bag's on top there, and the box is shut, the mic is held firm. Quan even Maya. No complaints. Hmm, quite weighty. Obviously immediately reminds me of the uh, SR forty V, so that will be interesting in due course. Nothing on the body at all. Oh. Well, I may as well think it's halfway off. I was going to save that for the review. Oh. Well. Very small. And other than that, the usual uh, sort of thing I've come to find with Earthworks. So, so far, I don't know if the SR40V's got this. Might have or it might not. It's got foam in there, which the SR40V does have quite a solid uh, plug of foam. Not solid, but deep. Anyway, compare them in due course. Gold pins, gold coloured anyway. Looks like a serial number in there as well. 
there we go then. So, uh, as you can imagine, I should be plugging it in, using it, and uh, we'll get back to you in due course. Have a good day.